There are many different kinds of bad dreams or nightmares and you can watch my previous video on uh, what the nature of nightmares or bad dreams can be in a person. Some dreams are the result of stress and anxiety and the best way to get rid of them is to de-stress and address your anxiety or concerns before you go to bed. That would mean either meditating or praying or whatever works for you uh, in a sense that your mind feels calmer and quieter and not so busy worrying or thinking about these concerns while you're sleeping. A second kind of bad dreams have to do with a physical problem. A physical problem such as sleep apnea when you're not able to breathe or you have heartburn when you have discomfort in your chest and these physical problems will come out as bad dreams. So then addressing the cause of that bad dream would help. Meaning diagnosing and treating your sleep apnea or heartburn or any other physical ailment, aches and pains and whatever else may be physically affecting your sleep at that time. And then there is a question of once you have a bad dream or a nightmare and it disturbs you so much that it wakes you up and then you can't go back to sleep, how would you make that better? There's a common psychological concept of addressing those, those terrible dreams that are so disturbing. Uh, because a lot of these bad dreams have to do with a sense of falling through space as a like you're falling from a cliff or somebody sitting on your chest trying to suffocate you or somebody running after you trying to kill you with a knife or a gun or something like that. They tend to be relatively violent. What helps with these dreams is to the extent that you remember it when you wake up, now you create the rest of the story that was going to happen when you woke up and you find a happy ending to that story, such as somebody is running after you with a knife and you are scared that they're going to do something terrible to you. And in that moment, imagine this as a scene in a movie, the cops show up and they arrest this person, something like this. So you use your imagination to create a happy ending to this terrible, violent, scary episode. And you go through this entire story in your mind during the day, during your wakefulness. Once you do this many times, now this gets ingrained in your mind. And when you have this kind of a dream, one, you're less likely to have it. Two, it's not as scary because there's a second part to it, which is a happier ending and not the scary, frightening thing. There are other situations when people have terrible dreams related to their past experiences. That may require seeing a psychotherapist actually and going through psychotherapy and, and uh, addressing those situations. And yet another option sometimes is to treat with a medicine that will help uh, reduce the amount of REM sleep during which we dream. There are certain medicines that will drastically decrease the amount of REM sleep and will also improve the nightmares or bad dreams. So there's a number of uh, medicines that are prescribed and a physician, uh, a, a prescribing person, a provider, a medical provider or psychiatrist would be able to help you with those. Uh, these are not things that you can take on your own because they require supervision and management by a qualified person.